Hey, what's going on Vikings fans? It's Skullside back again with another Minnesota Vikings video. I haven't seen you guys in a while. <laughs> I was on vacation in Michigan, taking some time off and really busy with work. However, in this upcoming couple of weeks, we're going to be grinding content for you guys, getting the most Minnesota Vikings content you're going to ask for. I hope to hit a thousand subs by the end of summer. I'm going to be really grinding it out. So if you guys can sub to the channel, if you're new, it would mean a ton to me. Anyways, in today's video, we're going to be asking the question and answering it. Should the Minnesota Vikings bring back Everson Griffin? Let's get right into it. Everson Griffin, I mean, let's talk about him. I mean, last year, he had a really solid year. And I feel like he's still got just some left in the tank. I don't think he's anywhere near his prime. However, I don't think he's like on this like kind of like farewell tour that people s almost ass like assuming he's going to be on. I really think he's got something left in the tank. I mean, you looked in that Saints playoff game. I mean, I love Daniil. I think he's one of the best defensive players in the NFL. Daniil and Everson, they kind of had the same impact in that game. They both had one and a half sacks. Everson was really, really good in the run, which I was shocked by. And also something I want to point out about Everson's year last year is that what I saw was, listen, we all remember Everson and his <coughs> and his false starts and all that. For all of his false starts, or not a false, offsides, neutral neutral zone infractions on third and four, when it would just kill us. He really didn't have any of those in the second half of the year. Second half of the year, I really don't remember any key like Everson just mental slip ups that he had. And as we all remember in 2018 with Everson, he had that little mental breakdown. He was not in the right mindset. He said it was a family issue. Could have been just a mental thing. Could have been just anxiety, depression. We really don't know what has gone on in his head. So we don't really know if he's, I mean, if he's fully bounced back from it. But from on the field, he looked like he bounced back. And he looks like he's in a great headspace right now. And just seeing how much passion he brings and seeing just the leader he is in the locker room. I really think the Vikings should really consider bringing Everson Griffin back. Now, Everson Griffin, I mean, I, he on the field, really good pass rusher, really good in the run. Sometimes gets blown off the ball a little bit in the run from what I've seen from film. I've been watching on him. But, I mean, most of the time, he's always given 110% and he's on the field. And sometimes he's given a little too much. That's why he gets off or false starts, off sides neutral zone infraction i mean that's really where like he that's his negative is that he sometimes does a little too much and that's also why i think he has a couple more years left in him because yes i don't i wouldn't bring him back to be a starter across from daniel and it's crazy how now we're talking across from daniel instead of across from everson i mean everson's been our ad rusher for a while now daniel's our guy i think he would be a great guy to bring in on just third downs third downs everything you got hey you're still the leader in the locker room you're still the captain you're still the guy you still rally the troops before every game <clears throat> we'll use you sometimes on first and second downs however third downs pin your ears back get to the quarterback give me everything you got on those third and longs and i think that could work because i think the vikings are going to be ahead in a lot of games this year just knowing the way gary kubiak's gonna run Knowing the way Zimmer's uh, defense is going to slow teams down right off the rip. At least I hope. I hope we will be in leads. And if that means teams are going to be trying to throw on us to get back in the games, put Evan there. Evan, Daniel on both sides. Ev's rested. He's healthy. He's not getting all those, like, those muddy downs is what we used to call them in football. It's like first and second downs where it's like most likely going to be a run. It's just pin your ears back. You know what they're doing. You're really good at it. You're 100% healthy. Go get that quarterback. And honestly, there's a sentimental side when it comes to Everson. I mean, I'm still a young guy. I've watched Everson grow. I've seen everything. I mean, him and Harrison Smith are kind of like my two favorite defensive players. Those are guys I kind of grew up watching. And they kind of created my love for Vikings football. I mean, Everson is the passion he plays with. I mean, yeah, I was born into being a Vikings fan. But Everson, I mean, just the passion he plays with and just everything he brings to the team. I mean, I can't really... I mean, I can't really think of another guy I would root for and who I want to get a Super Bowl ring. Like, let's just say, pray, I mean, that next year is the year. I want Everson to be a part of that. I want Everson to be a part of this future still. And I think he can contribute. I don't think this would be like a make-a-wish thing. Like, hey, Everson, I know you're old. Come on in. I think this would be like Everson. Third downs, you pin your ears back, you get to that quarterback. 
I think the Vikings should bring him back. Pay him whatever fits the salary cap. Obviously, don't pay him a lot. You can't pay him a multiple-year deal. I think I think it's just one year. Here you go. Prove you still got some left in the tank. Maybe we'll give you a two-year deal after that. Third down, let's experiment with it. I mean, we got a really deep defensive line group this year. If we don't bring back Everson, I think our D-line will still be top five in the league. We bring him back. I think they're one of the best groups in the NFL in this upcoming year. I really believe that. With the young talent and the coaching, say, Ev, third down, do you get to it? I mean, could you imagine Michael Pierce, Neil Hunter, Everson Griffin, DJ Wonham, James Lynch, I Fetty. I mean, all of these guys hopefully still developing and getting better. Could be a special group. Anyways, guys, if you guys are still here, please sub to the channel. I'm really trying to grind this out, trying to get to a million subs. Or, I wish a million subs. A thousand subs by the end of the summer. Skull Vikes, hopefully we get... Hope you have a successful year. Great to be back. Grinding content this week. Thank you guys so much for watching. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.